Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafty Come Lately. I am going to share with you my finally finished Paris file folder mini album. Of course, it's inspired by Michelle Mooney, Paper Addiction, and I will include her tutorial of how to make the skeleton and how to include the pages and extra tags. She really explains it really well. Actually, I think she has it in two separate videos, so I will include both of them below. And um, I also will do the flip through of my skeleton um, file folder mini album because I made a couple of mistakes is um, I wind up covering some of the pockets, potential pockets, all of that good stuff. So um, the reason I took so long to finish this is because I didn't have enough Paris printables, Paris stamps, Paris things. So after I acquired a few things, I actually forgot about this. So I didn't finish it for a while and I'm all done. So um, and I wanted to share a quick tip with you while I think about it is I have my project or my um, thing that I'm sharing on each video held up for about 10 seconds at least um, because I believe that's how YouTube chooses the first of the three freeze frames that you can choose then for your um, the video so um, and I like the better picture that actually shows my product instead of maybe my fingers or hands or whatever like I don't want that shot to be my freeze frame so um, I'd like to at least start with the picture of my project in case nothing else turns out of the other two choices so that's a tip that I think I've learned but I've not verified it anywhere and I'm not sure if you've had the same experience but I know if you don't have enough subscriber subscribers um, you don't get to choose which frame will be your your actual freeze frame so um, if you have any more information about that feel free to leave me a comment and let me know thank you so much so anyways uh, flip through just simple ribbon as my opening and I just attached it to both sides of the front inside sheet but I have them looping through the back so they wind up doing an extra circle through the back and coming back to the front so um, no primal reason for that but in any case the front cover and the back are from the same image but it was a more square image so here you can see the lamp and a little bit more image to the right here the image ends at the lamp but it goes a little further to the left so more of the cafe so just thought it would be more uh, more flowy more the same and then I chose a topi kind of a leather from my scraps that I bought at Michael's a little bit back and um, just kind of fit it to the best of my ability and hopefully you can see the lighting might be kind of bad on that so anyways uh, front inside cover will be like this I uh, put an extra flap just like Michelle describes in her um, video and then the front inside cover there including the flap there and I use the same paper for those two pages there uh, lots of tags um, and little mini album inside the mini album a teeny tiny one this is for a little journaling spot inside my little embossed sing little cover there everything is little I don't know why um, this is a scrapbook page that I put a little gesso to make it look more distressed and aged and uh, this one is printable from Tsunami Rose it's the Rose Vintage uh, this one is a Irene inspired paper clip and it is scrapbook paper with a Daiso plastic bag on top and then a stamp of Paris which is one of the things I obtained since so that I had things paris -y to put in here uh, another well actually sorry I'll do the front inside cover first so this one is another scrapbook paper with the Martha Stewart punch border punch right here and this one is a printable from dreams etc um, she had I bought I think just the embellishment packet of and I don't know what the name but I, I'm sure there's something Paris related to it I'll put the link of that printable and the Tsunami Rose that I have obtained um, so that you can uh, seek it and hopefully get it too this is also from Dream Success same embellishment packet it was I think two sheets of embellishments or three uh, this is from my stupendous um, stamp that I just obtained on top of a Daiso um, just a Daiso clear meaning unlined index card so that's that little doily I got from uh, wild orca crafts that I colored with a little bit of peachy um, whatchamacallits from one of these daubers right here so just to make it look more aged and more 
you know, more matching to the colors right here. This is a printable and I don't know who I got it from. I have everything saved though, so if there is one that you're looking for, let me know and I will seek it and find it and include it in the comment. And this one is from a Daiso booklet that I took apart. So that's one of the notebook papers. I put a little paper clip and a this one I believe is a Daiso um, charm that's hanging dangling. I was trying to put it on the ribbon in the front but it didn't quite work out. Like I didn't know how to put it so it would stay always in the front. So I just did it there. And this is the extra tag that Michelle shows you how to do and how to put into the album. You wind up covering the um, little flap with the next page. So it's really cool. It looks like it fits and you can put whatever you want on it. You can technically even make it a pocket if you wanted to. So, but I put another image there, another image there, another image there, and another Paris image there. And this one I made like a little dangly um, on top of a paper clip. It's a heart shape and that is from uh, Printable. And then a cute little bow right there. This one is... So this one is a tissue paper, all rosy, that I've shown you before from the dollar store. But on top of that, I put the Paris, and that's from Dreams Etc., her little Paris um, embellishment, the two, three-page thing that I was speaking about. Another Paris collectible, and then this is some embossing practice that didn't really work out so well, but it's kind of messy, so I like it. Another printable behind with the Eiffel Tower. And scrapbook paper there, another printable there. Um, this is a Daiso washi tape that has some French on it. Just some wax paper to give it that look. Like in the old days when you had the stamp books, um, they would be separated with this to protect the stamps. So I really like that look, even though obviously you can't write on it and it's not useful or practical in any way. Then I made my own little without a manila folder, cardstock, anything to hold it, so it's very flimsy. I just put the same image back and forth from some painting that I happen to have, actually. So, And then this is another scrapbook paper, and this one is also from the Dreams Etc. This is her tag in that two-page embellishment. And then this is from her, um, from, I think it's the Antique Collage from Dreams Etc., I can't remember. And another image I put for there for the tab. And then this is the only my actual picture. So as I was running out of images, I'm like, okay, well, let me just use one of my own from Paris, um, my own picture of Eiffel Tower. But of course, it has the blue, green, gray skies, whatever it had. So I wound up oranging it up a bit by using the color box, color box, sorry. Um, I, and I think I use both the second and the third, the first, so like the peach and the coral colors, and just kind of dab them, like just kind of right on there. And this is just printed on regular printer paper at the library for free. <laughs> so um, that's that. So it kind of lightened it up, and I didn't do any photoshopping. It's old-fashioned photoshopping. This one is a printable from Tsunami Rose. And I believe it's from the Rose Vintage. This one is a Daiso envelope that came from the gift wrap area. And I made like a little mini uh, note there. So you can put some comments about something. Hopefully your Paris trip. And this one is again the Daiso uh, notebook taken out and put into here. This one is a printable. It might be ephemera vintage garden. And I, because it was like a sewing dress form kind of a thing, I used a, um, oh my God, safety pin. <laughs> What's that called? And this is the inside cover, and I made two pockets here and here. And this is a die cut with a view paper here, the Paris, which actually I obtained after getting this album, but by then I had most of the sheets covered. So, and not many have the Paris on it. They're just beautiful prints and and uh, graphics, so I didn't really want to use it in the book because I really wanted a lot of Eiffel Tower, Sacre Coeur, like Notre Dame, whatever, like beautiful Paris images rather than just um, to have, you know, like a beautiful, like their papers. So I tried to incorporate as many Parisian things. And this is another booklet I made. 
with um, this is a like a fabric tape from Daiso and a little vellum left over from a project that I was working on that I used a different printable from Dreams etc that was very nautical theme a uh, what you call it a mulberry paper there so it's like three pages and then a beautiful paper there so it's like a little booklet also to write in and it just goes right there and then the second pocket is holding two tags one tag there and one index card there very distressed and aged with some Daiso tape there so that wraps that up back to the cover all done so I wanted to give you some tips about um, if you're going to try to make a file folder but I think I'll do it in a separate um, video because I am I made I already finished this actually this is a like a nautical theme using the dreams etc I can't remember what it's called it's antique or uh, antique voyage I think it's called but it's all very nautical and I will share that in a separate video but I made this um, eight inches in a little bit and this one I it was the original six and a half inches tall but the next skeleton one I basically made six and one eighth inch because uh, that way you can fit a six inch paper without doing too much trimming too much thinking and most of the paper should be about eight inches if you have a eight by eight pad that you want to use up so that's the idea behind the eight inches here eight inches and one eighth inch so this will be the next album I'll do a flip through for that and some tips and explanations of um, how I conquered the Michelle Mooney's uh, beautiful file folder illustration she made it up and everybody's copying it and it's just amazing 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 so um, definitely two thumbs up for her for her technique because it's a beautiful album and they're technically for being no no complicated binding it's really one of the simplest ones to put together and you know you can do it easily in one day and embellish and everything give it as a gift so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up continue to watch because I will put a flip through of this book and then if I have space on that video I'll explain some tips on the file folder and if I don't I'll do that in a third video so thank you for watching I hope you subscribe thanks